Okay, I'm going to start by importing uh, an audio file with this little uh, gem here. I'll drag it down into uh, the empty timeline panel to create a new composition. And we'll uh, add a new solid now. Just use the keyboard shortcuts and I'll call this uh, um, mask movement. Okay, now we'll go down here and we'll press the L key twice to reveal the audio waveform. And we can see that the audio does not start right at the uh, the first frame. So what we need to do is let's just zoom into the timeline here right up to that first frame and catch the first little it's probably a glitch there. I'll hold down the command key. Okay, so that looks like a good place to start. We'll set the endpoint for that layer using the option key. And then we'll pre-compose. We can, you know, right-click, hit pre-compose, use the keyboard shortcut. The important thing, move all attributes and adjust the layer length. Okay, there we go. Now we need to move this back to the start of the timeline. Okay, so just using the snap feature again. Now we'll press the uh, L key twice and we can stretch this out so we can see it. It's nice and big. Yep, we're right there. We might actually be a frame off, but it's close enough for right now. Okay? So, there's our waveform. We're going to enable timing mapping. I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcut. Alt Option, Control Command, plus T. Okay? Uh, we'll slide out see the whole timeline. We've got both keyframes. Everything is going along just fine. And now we need to add a mask to this comp. It's really hard to see that deal. So I'm going to press the mask thing here. Find me a different color. Let's get something nice and bright so that I can really see it. Okay, there's the mask with the path selected and the selection tool active. I can drag a selection around keyframes and move them. So I'll go down here a few seconds and we'll set the first mask keyframe. And then we'll, I don't know, let's move this one, a bump. And we'll go over here and move it over here. We'll go down here and I don't know, maybe move this one. Or maybe do something fancy. All right, so we got the mask moving. Now let's apply your expression to time remapping. I'm just going to pop back over to your forum post and uh, let's grab this uh, this expression right here which is fairly well written. Okay, so I'm going to paste this right here. Boom. And you notice the audio jumped immediately to the first frame of the animation. It's just absolutely precisely lined up. Turn the expression off, jumps back and forth, and everything works just fine. Okay, well, I just filled up my preview, but there we go. Hello, I'm, uh, well, I'm going to do some tutorials. And I hope it works for you. Okay. Now, if you rewrite this expression just a little bit, kind of the. Okay. What I like to do is create a reference, first of all. Okay. The reference is going to be equal to this right here. Okay, so I'm going to cut that. And I'll paste it up here. There we go. Everything still works, but you have the opportunity. Let's, uh, let's set some position keyframes. 
Okay, so I'll just set a position keyframe and go over here and uh, you know we'll just all right. So we now got the layer moving. Okay, if we change this R here. Okay. We'll just change this to position now. Now now the movement is lined up with the position keyframes. Move the keyframe. Uh, I gotta refresh the view here. Okay. Now let's move the audio to the position keyframe. Hello. I'm uh so I hope that clears things up. Uh it's a very simple procedure.